everyone, it's the Sagan from Scientists Say, and uh, the Sagan is practicing how not to be seen in this video, just because um, I'm kind of supposed to be sleeping right now, I'm a little grungy looking, don't feel like being on camera, but I had something arrive that I wanted to, uh, I'm kind of excited about, thought I'd do kind of an unboxing video maybe, also you'll notice I'm using an external camera for this, this is sort of me testing the quality of this camera uh, for some stuff that Tesla and I might be doing later. Um, so if this only records in 720p, but that's still HD, so if the quality is a little low, do apologize. Also, don't mind the fact that I'm looking at Muppet-related shit that's unrelated. Uh, anyway, uh, so here's what came in the mail. So you might be thinking, well, Sagan, that is a uh, is an SNES controller. And I'm like, you would be right, except it is a wireless gamepad. It connects via Bluetooth, would work with my phone and my PC, uh, which, frankly, sounds awesome. This was done for the 30th anniversary of the uh, of the SNES, so it's probably been out for a few years since the 30th anniversary should have been 2012. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. I'm a little tired right now. Um, but anyway, for those that don't really know, like, the Tesla and I are huge nostalgia you know, nerds, we're all into the old video games. You know, obviously we play modern ones too. Um, but I personally love the SNES. And as you can see, I've got the classic American version of the SNES gamepad. The company that makes this, 8BitDo, uh, sells gamepads in your classic American NES. You've got the Famicom style, you know, the, J the Japanese style. Same with the SNES, you can get it in the Japanese style, the Super Famicom, where it has the rainbow buttons here. Um, uh, first impressions, this packaging is really nice looking, uh, it, it's got a nice feel to it, it's not too beat up from the mail, you know, it comes in a padded envelope, so I always kind of expect it's going to get a little beat up, except for, I think, you can see, like, the corner there, being a little, again, I apologize for the, the blurriness, uh, I'm using a generic driver for this camera, so I'm sure if I had it mounted, it'd be a little better. And I'm just holding it in my hand at the moment. I am tried to mount it to my face in some way so I could do this GoPro style, but, you know, that didn't really work out. Now, I did forget one thing uh, before I uh, sat down to record this video, so I'll be right back. I'm going to grab that, and, uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So what I wanted to do was grab an actual, as you can see, an actual SNES controller. This is your classic SNES controller. Uh, it's... Yeah, I think a second edition one. You know, I've had this for my original system. The original ones that came with my system had their L and R button shattered by my dad. Uh, but uh, don't don't ask. Uh, but anyway, this is the replacement I've got. I've had it ever since. It works great. Um, I actually have a Super Smart Joy, which if you've never seen this, is an adapter that goes from the actual SNES connector. It's a little dusty. Uh, to Sorry, doing this one hand is a little awkward. To, you know, standard USB. You plug it in, works as a human input device, system absolutely recognizes the joystick, works beautifully. So you might be asking, why did I buy this? Well, this is wireless, and which is awesome, which means I could take it with me and I don't have to worry about all that extra cord. Plus, it'd be nice to plug that in and then have somebody else be able to play on this or vice versa. Uh, so I can actually play with two people and, you know, because I'm, I'm usually that guy that'll be like, oh yeah, you know, here, you use this, I'll use the keyboard. But now I don't have to do that. So anyway, but I, I wanted to have that here in the video so we can compare the two once I get this unboxed. So without further ado, let me uh, try to box this. So I don't know how I'm going to do this here. Um, sorry, I got the camera tangled it. I apologize if I'm making anybody motion sick right now. So I don't think I could do this with one hand. So let me try and get the sleeve off and I will be right back with you. Okay, and once again I'm back. So uh, now keep in mind, I'm doing this unboxing live. I literally just got this in the mail uh, about you know, 20 minutes ago. Got what I needed, sat down to do this video. So first potential complaint was it took me a lot of finagling to get this sleeve off. It's, it fits very tightly on the package and I don't know if it's because like the corner being squashed there, it just didn't want to come off. But I really had to, you know, re, you know, refit it to get it off. Fortunately, I didn't mar anything. So here's the box. It's got the 8-bit do 
logo on it. Um, like I said, nice, nice construction. It's got some heft to it. So let's see if we can uh, do this one. Oh, nice. This is sliding right off here. That's what she said. So here we go. This is my first time seeing it, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. I mean, goddamn. Like, like let's compare. Seriously. Identical. I mean, other than the obvious logos. Um, I mean, I won't know for sure till I pull it out, but let me just tell you, touching the start and select buttons, it's the same, you know, rubber feel. D-pad feels... Yeah, D-pad feels about the same. Buttons feel absolutely authentic for the SNES. So let me pull her out here. Oh, yeah. I I mean I I gotta tell you I am I am wow like this has the same heft in your hand and just feels like an SNES controller. I'd say the D pad has a slightly different feel, but not the nothing that would be a deal breaker. Um, as you can see, authentic L and R buttons and a micro USB port for charging. Which is why I'm doing this video now, because I suspect I'll need to charge this before I use it. So I figured I'd do the unboxing now. I'll charge it, I'll try and go back to sleep for a couple hours, and then I'll get up and <clears throat> do a little gameplay with it uh, for the end of the video. So that is, frankly, fucking awesome with the way this looks and feels. Again, I apologize for any blurriness. I'm trying to keep the camera steady. But I don't have the steadiest hands in the world, as most people know. All right, let's see what else is in what's in the box. So, um, so okay, the you know little foam insert there, actually in two pieces, interestingly enough. Uh, and then we have another sort of cardboard insert here. Let me pull that up. Again, I I'm seeing the camera like constantly adjusting focus, and I apologize if that's going to be annoying for anybody. Okay, so we have. The instruction manual, which, of course, nobody reads, but I will be reading uh, off-camera. 8-bit do, SNES 30 gamepad, everything old is new again. I think that, that sums this up pretty nicely. All right, so what do we got in here? So we got a couple of boxes in here. So let me pull this out. I got to say, I'm liking this packaging here. Everything... Got its own space, fits nice and neat. That's that's nice. So uh, this looks to be your standard micro USB cable. In fact, I would be willing to bet that's exactly what it is. So the box is just kind of your thin cardboard, so do be careful when you open it. So it's a, yeah, uh, there we go, micro USB to standard USB, uh, flat cable, interestingly enough. So, but I mean, I've got, you know, half a dozen, sorry, let me back that up a little bit. There we go. Half a dozen, you know, USB cables around here at any given moment, so I can easily, you know, provide my own. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. okay, so let's see, let me pull this out. And we have nothing else in the box. So the thing I don't know what's in here is this. I have no idea. Uh, got a little tab to pull it out of the box there. Let me open this up and see what's inside. What's in the box? So I don't know. Still don't know what's in there. Okay, so we have a couple things. We have whatever this is. Oh. Oh, I think this might be a mount of some kind. That could be useful. And then I, I did see this in another unboxing video for this. Again, I'm feeling like an asshole with this camera here, so I may never do anything like this again, guys. But uh, so I have this, which is a little. Let me let me uh, unbox this real quick. Just a moment. Okay, so it's a keychain uh, from Eight Bit Do. Uh, it's got their their logo on it. Uh, it's not a bad design, you know. There's a like SNES controller, 8-bit do. 
know if you can see the rest of that. I can I can actually barely even read that, you know, not through the camera. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a neat little keychain. I might actually put that on my keyring. I I kind of collect keychains. I have way too many fucking many of them compared to keys. Uh, but yeah, I might might do something like that. So I'm curious. Hey everyone, I am back. Sorry about that. I had to cut the video because the dog was barking, and also dumb, dumbass McDummington here forgot to plug in his laptop, so he died. Um, anyway, I still have no idea what this is. Uh, I I looked in the instructions, uh, which covered how how to. Oh God, sorry, there's too much light in here. <laughs> there we go. Instructions uh, did not cover what I needed to know. As far as what the hell this is, uh, it did tell me how to, you know, set this thing up, and it looks pretty cool. I'm excited to try it out. Um, it, I think I should charge it first, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw this on the charger, and then, um, but actually, before I do that, give me one second. So, according to the back of the box here, uh, it says it's a ring tander, this thing. So... I don't know what that is. I'm going to look it up real quick. Uh, be right back with you. So apparently, according to Reddit, I am not the only one uh, to ask this question. So, let's see. So, yeah, I, I guess maybe if I wanted to mount the thing on my wall or something like that. Um, I, I don't know. It, it definitely, like, the center of it has some adhesive. Also, I'm not looking at where my camera's aiming, so, yeah. Good, good, you are seeing it. Um, yeah, it's got some adhesive on it, like in the center there, and I'm sure that there's a layer here that if I peeled off, it'd be sticky. So I guess I could stick it to the back. Oh, by the way, this is hilarious. For those that actually know about these kind of things, if I can get enough focus, you can see it's actually a standard Phillips head screwdriver if I ever want to open this thing. <clears throat> Unlike Nintendo, actually, I take that back. For once, Nintendo actually has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver on that. Most Nintendo consoles and controllers actually use something called a tri-wing screw, which is the three-headed uh, screw head. Uh, as you can see, it says 8-bit do, has all the FCC information because, you know, wireless. Made in China. No surprise there. All right, so... We're going to give up on that. I got no fucking clue what it is. I'm going to put all this shit back in the box, except for this. Uh, I'm going to grab me a micro USB cable. I don't think I'll use the one that came with it. I just don't like how it's flat. Uh, but I'm going to hook this shit up and get it charged. I'm going to go back to bed. And then uh, in a couple hours, I will get up. And uh, we, will, we will give this, this a try. So until then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you in magic internet time. Okay, everyone, I am back, and now I'm on camera because I'm a little better looking. So, it's several hours later. I totally didn't get up when I should. I've got to leave for work in about 15 minutes. So, I'm going to do a real quick video here uh, for the, or real quick, uh, you know, test at the end of the video here. So, as you can see, I have the SNS controller paired. You see the blue light there? It means it's on paired. I have it paired through Bluetooth. Um, I had to do uh, some quick configuration testing, but other than that, I have not used it, so you'll be getting my first impressions of actually playing with it. Um, I did notice that when hooked up through USB, when I went to charge it earlier, it registers as a joystick, whereas uh, through Bluetooth, I think it registers kind of as a keyboard uh, with a joystick attached. So I actually had to reconfigure SNES 9X. Um, like, the buttons were still all mapped from USB mode, but once on Bluetooth, the D-pad uh, is actually considered arrow keys. So that's a little annoying. Um, also, I had to recheck the instructions on how to pair this because it didn't seem to be working when I started. And I got to say, this, this sleeve is so tight for this box. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I had, like, it took me five minutes to get this off, just straining at it without obviously wanting to tear it. Um, so far, though, that's been my only complaints. Love the feel and texture of this. It's like using the real thing. So far, let's see how it plays. I'm going to do a quick race in Super Mario Kart, and then I'm going to call that good because i got to get out of here. So...
Alright, now I know when I was testing there was some sound issue. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm just going to do a grace. So I'm going to speak a little louder. Hopefully you can hear me over the music because I know it's probably going off a loud. Uh, okay, so first of all, just go to the menu. Buttons feel absolutely like the real ones. Uh, if anything, they feel a little stiff, like it's brand new. I'm just going to do the first Mario Circuit 1. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, the first Mario Kart game has the absolute hardest boost to hit in the series this year. I get it like, you know, one out of every five or something. Thank you, Bowser. Quick race there. Gotta say, loving this. It's if I had my eyes closed, I wouldn't know I was using something that wasn't the real thing. God, that the the double entendre there is strong with that. Multiple entendre. So um, yeah, would highly recommend these. Uh, eight bit, uh, the number eight bit b i t d d o eight bit do dot com. Or I actually just got this right off of Amazon on Prime. Ordered it. Uh, so, you know, Sunday, I had it by Wednesday, because they didn't ship it till Monday, obviously. So, uh, yeah, i loving this thing. Um, would highly recommend that uh, if, you, if you're if you all at all into this kind of controller, get one. It's 35 bucks, uh, even slightly less on Amazon, because Amazon always has shit on sale. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and a uh, little preview of this controller. Um, I You'll probably be seeing this in future videos with the Tesla and I. Um, also, if y'all been enjoying the This Movie's Gonna Shock series, uh, I've got another episode I'm working on editing, should be up in a day or two, and, uh, we're working on some time to film some more. We're trying to coordinate with the Darwin, because we really think he adds some humor to the series. So, uh, yeah. So, till next time, you stay classy, Internet.